The technical name is Speech Language Support, but for some students, it's just school. Winston Churchill has a special program for students who are nonverbal but still have the means to communicate. It seems like a simple request, but for this duo, every sentence is a small victory. Hannah came to Winston Churchill in kindergarten on a verbal communication program, but needed a better way to interact with her peers. They started her on the Picture Exchange Communication System, or PEX, three years ago, and she's been excelling ever since. Leaps and bounds. She started uh, learning one-word communication exchanges to huge sentences, and she learned to ask for multiple things, more than one thing, so, um, and is starting to add some of her sight words from school into her sentence structure. Hannah works with Nancy every day using this book. In it are Velcro pictures, and by choosing the right squares, she applies them to a dialogue strip. Then she is able to ask and answer questions or convey wants and needs. Like any other student or child, they want desperately to communicate with their environment and with people around them. And um, to see the growth that she's had over the past years is incredible, the way that she interacts with staff and students. The PECS program was originally designed for students with autism, but due to its success, they expanded it to other nonverbal students. Hannah's fellow classmates have been supportive of her progress and are always eager to help. And it just give her, gives her so much independence and it re reduces her frustration too. The behaviors are less because she can communicate whatever she wants to. The Lloydminster Public School Division has two kids in sex and another 310 in speech therapy. Students are tested in kindergarten for speech sounds, language skills and stuttering. This is due to an expanding speech language department consisting of two speech pathologists and four speech language assistants. We have a great advantage to have the support of, of their expertise in helping us to implement things to help students with their communication skills. The next step for Hannah is to take her pecs into the community. She's already requested books at the library, ordered at a local restaurant, and gone grocery shopping with the Velcro system. We need her to expand throughout her life how she can communicate, and this is one form of beginning to do and then as she gets older and her vocabulary expands we will have to go to other methods like iPod touches or whatnot. There's a lot of other ideas out there. And bird. A bird. Yes, it's a bird. That's all the time we have for this week. If you have any comments or questions about the show, email us at aroundtheregion at newcap.ca or as always you can go to newcaptv.com for more information. I'm Whitney Stinson and we'll see you around the region.